Hey guys and welcome back to Sweeviver. Meanwhile, I'm working on new videos about the Pimax 8KX, the Pimax 8K Plus, the Artisan and the 5K Super. I would like to show you a couple of through the lens photos and videos that I've done in the past, even before VR days. This entire video was shown on our monitors during CES 2020 and I think a lot of you have not seen this yet. These are all through the lens photos and most of them are in macro mode. So remember, these are very magnified images and that's why you see the screen door effect on all of these headsets. The comparisons here are between the Pimax 8KX, 8K+, Plus, the old 8K, the 5K+, Plus, the Valve Index, the HB Reverb version 1 and the Not 2 and the original HTC Vive. At the end of this video I also included a short video clip through the lens of Acero Corsa on the Pimax 8KX in native 4K resolution. Meanwhile we're watching these through the lens photos, I would like to add a little statement here which some of you might be curious about. Currently there are only 4 people in the world who are using the 8KX for testing purposes except for Pimax themselves of course. It's me. It's Sebastian from Mixed Reality TV on YouTube, it's Don Hopper from VR Gamer Dude on YouTube, and the external engineer Matthew Heinz, who is helping us with optimizations of the Pimax 8KX. Now, all four of us are able and allowed to make Pimax 8KX videos as much as we like on YouTube, on Vimeo, or wherever. The only restrictions we got currently is to not make full review videos, which is because the Pimax 8KX samples we have are not the final units, which will be available right after Chinese New Year. None of us needs to do any videos of course, and if there's any of us who decides not to make any videos, then it's all up to us and we can decide that whether we want it or not. Having that said, let's just continue to watch these through the lens photos. Now lastly, let's have a look at the Pimax 8KX through the lenses in a short video clip in Assetto Corsa. This video is not taken in a macro mode, so basically it shows you what your eyes see inside of the headset, apart from the fact that you see more of the field of view in VR. And if you have any questions or opinions, leave them in the comments down here below.